Hello everyone, this is Dr. Hantun and welcome to Zedcraft. Thank you everyone for the, the great feedback on my first episode. Um, your, your comments and uh, your feedback was um, you know, very much appreciated and it's uh, motivated me to do another episode. Uh, so we're here in my Japanese themed castle, uh, but we're not going to be doing it, our episodes in, in here today. We're actually going to be doing it in the nether. So we'll go there right now. So the reason why we're in the nether is that I want to make a wither killing room. So uh, if you aren't familiar with the concept, uh, it's a concept that uh, Panda, uh, a YouTuber, uh, came up with. And uh, it's a way to safely kill a wither using the bedrock in the ceiling of the nether. Now we have a wither killing room and it's way down there at, uh, at world spawn uh, in the spawn chunks. Now, uh, the problem is that the spawn chunks are about a thousand blocks away in the nether. It's a long way to run. Uh, so I went out to uh, try and find um, a, a suitable location uh, closer to the hub. And I found one. Um, I actually wrote a program to do it. Uh, I, it's just down this way. Um, and I'm going to show you a clip right now explaining, you know, the, the, the mechanics of it and uh, how I found it um, and uh, links to the program. So we're in creative now. This is actually a server that ZF set up for the patrons uh, in the survival server uh, to use to mock up builds. Uh, so I figured that I'd do the, the demonstration on this. Uh, so I'll kind of explain how the bedrock generation works. Uh, you know, kind of different to how other parts of the world generation work. Um, the bedrock generation um, in the nether, um, and I believe the over overworld, um, it does not rely on the seed, it just relies on the chunk coordinates uh, as input into a random num number generator, which is a uh, kind of an algorithm um, uh, used in computer computing which relies purely on maths to, to determine uh, a sequence of, of numbers which appear to be random um, in, you know, random in terms of their sequence. Um, however, given a particular seed, uh, they always generate the exact sequence. Um, so, um, and as I said, they're based on the chunk coordinates for the bedrock generation. If we turn on the chunk border, you can see that um, I'm now currently standing in a chunk. Uh, and if you look at the debug menu, you can see uh, that I'm currently in uh, chunk negative four, um, one uh, chunk. So. Uh, this is a chunk, uh, and the chunk generation, uh, the bedrock generation, kind of starts in the in the northwest corner. Um, you, if you have a look at the the chunk coordinates, you'll see that there it says zero zero zero. They're the inner coordinates within the chunk. Uh, it starts here and it, it works its way from the top y downwards, um, and it kind of looks at that position. And it says you know, should this be bedrock? Uh, and it will decide yes or no, and then it'll go to the next one down, should this be bedrock? Um, and it starts um, off, uh, it has kind of different chances as it goes, it's, it works its way down. It, uh, at Y127 in the nether, it has a five out of five chance of being bedrock. In other words, it's always going to be bedrock. Uh, the next layer down has a four in five chance of being uh, bedrock, and then uh, so on and so forth. So three, two, one um, at level 23, and then finally below level 20, uh, 123, uh, it has zero chance of being bedrock until it reaches the the um, the floor um, of the nether. So you know it starts here. It kind of generates downwards, um, uh, you know, in each position. Um, and then it jumps to the next one. It, it goes across um, this way on the x. Uh, yep, on the x coordinate. And then it so it'll go all the way to the end. 
and then it jumps back down here and then goes from here in kind of a sweeping sweeping across and then jumps back to over this side, sweeps across, jumps back. And it keeps doing that until the whole chunk has the bedrock generated. Uh, so in terms of the formation that we're looking for um, for a wither killing room, uh, we're looking for a three by three area like this. Um, it can have kind of extra pieces sticking out um, according to Panda, who originally um, came up with this method. Um, but I normally just look for a solid 3x3. Three three. Um, and so because the, the bedrock generation is based purely off the coordinates of the chunks, uh, we, can write a, we can write a program to do it. So I did that. I, there should be a link on the screen uh, to a GitHub re repository. Uh, where you can find the the program that I that I wrote, um, which does this, and uh, what it does is you know you give it the position that you're in, and it will try and find the closest within a particular radius that you specify, find the closest formation of this three by three. Um, so once you've found it, uh, what you do is you want to put place a block, uh, two blocks down uh, from that. And you place the you place the the wither lying down like this. Um, it will stand up as, when it spawns, uh, and that you put your skulls there. I won't put the uh, third one on uh, just in case it spawns and wrecks things. Um, and yeah, then you can you should be able to safely attack the wither, um, kill it, and and get the nether stuff. All right, I hope you found that uh, clip informative. This is it, this is the three by three. Um, if you're interested in the coordinates of it, uh, there you go. Uh, if you look at the looking at, it says negative 792, negative 734. So yeah, I found this. Uh, yeah, I dug out this tunnel. Um, funny thing is, uh, I, this is the second time that I had to record this clip. Uh, but unfortunately, I mucked around with OBS, which is what I'm using for recording this, and uh, the footage was no good. Uh, so I had to re-record this, so the tunnel's already dug, but I have recorded a time-lapse. Uh, so I'm going to play that time-lapse now. Uh, so you'll get to see that, and you'll also get to see the second half of the time-lapse, which I haven't done yet, uh, which is uh, decorating the tunnels. So, yeah, hopefully it goes well. Uh, I'm using the replay mod, uh, which uh, I've never used before. Uh, so yeah, hopefully it goes well. Uh, yep, here it goes.
and we are back. Holy moly, that was a lot of work. Um, but I had a lot of fun uh, fun recording it. Um, yeah, so it's all complete. The Nether Tunnel uh, and the Wither Killing Chamber. Um, yeah, so obviously I went with... Uh, went with a bit of a kind of nether or e evil themed uh, tunnel. Uh, what's a red? The uh, I didn't realize until I started this project, these nether wart blocks are really expensive. <laughs> they're um, they're nine, nine weather, uh, nether wart each. Uh, so I had to create a little makeshift uh, nether wart farm to, to get the blocks. So I haven't tried this place out yet. Um, so I thought that you might be able to give it a bit of a maiden voyage and, and see how it goes. Uh, so I've got an ender chest here. I wanted to find a, a location for it. Um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe like here. Yep, that looks like it will be good. Um, yeah, we'll put it up there, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of those, those uh, nether rack as well. Okay. Yeah, so we will put that there. And and I've got the stuff for spawning a weather. All right. So yeah, if you haven't seen one of these formations before, you kind of lay it down like this. Um, and then you place the, the skulls on the front. So either this will work uh, and I'll safely get a, another star or it'll go terribly wrong. It'll destroy everything and I'll be very, very sad. So yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, it's looking good so far. Okay. Will anything blow up? No. Oh, so loud. <laughs> but it is working. Almost there. Yes. <laughs> nice. All right. Awesome. Yeah, so um, we'll quickly grab another one of these. Yeah, so I think that's it for for today. It's uh, you know, uh, this was a lot of effort to put together, um, but I do know that the episode is a little bit shorter than my last one. Um, let me know what people think. Like what. What, what's your ideal length for an episode? I always... Uh, I'm kind of aiming for, say, like around the 20 minute mark. Um, but, you know, I guess it's always based on just the content, as long as it's interesting. So, yeah, let me know if you found this interesting. If you enjoyed the time lapse, let me know. Uh, and, yeah, if you tell me what you think of the design. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's, uh, that's all. Um, this has been Dr. Henshin. I'll catch you later. Bye.